Hi. Oh, hi. Can you tell us your name and uh, a bit about yourself? Oh. Who are you? I'm Beverly Mendonca. I'm a chess player. I love art too, and I do music. And I'm currently in the 10th standard. And uh, I have been playing this uh, Goa GM tournament, and which is where I met you. So. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is where we met, and I saw something very special that you do, Thank which you. is very unique uh, in the chess world. Uh, so, can you show us one of the things that you did? Oh, this. Yeah, which caught our attention. This. Was done actually during the round. It was an inspiration, like during the round. Mm -hmm. I was, I my queen, my uh, pawn was about to queen in the middle game. It had already reached the seventh rank. Okay. So the king was not yet out, but the king always looks grand on a, a score sheet cover. So, so you are telling us you were drawing this during the game. Yes, during the game. During when else do you draw it? <laughs> so, so it's like your opponent is thinking about his move and you turn the score sheet because this is the front of your score yeah, sheet yeah, yeah. and you started drawing this. Yes. I <laughs> okay. So that's the king on the left. Yeah, that's the king. And there's this pawn. He's firmly caught hold of the pawn. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wanted to draw two panels like a comic strip kind of thing but then uh, I always thought one is best on a title uh, front page mm -hmm. so uh, the pawn in the first panel was supposed to just about like a farewell to his other friends or brothers or whoever uh, the other pawns so and he was about to queen because no other pawns were next to him he was kind of isolated from the rest and the king's uh, king has just lost the queen and firmly needs a wife and like really needs a wife so he's like caught hold of that pawn and wants to queen it so you better come hmm. like just come and the king goes and and the king has like a smug expression that finally made the pawn understand what it wants and now uh, the pawn has also grasped the like the understanding of the fact that he will become a queen and he will get a crown. Usually the pawns are bald, like no thing on top. Mm -hmm. So, and they are already always considered, considered like empty heads kind of. So here you finally get a crown. <laughs> And that and uh, pawns are usually envious of all other pieces because other pieces can move. They can't move backwards. They're like cycles kind of. And other pieces are like cars. They can't. So. Uh, now the spawn will be able to do so and uh, he's anxious and uh, he's like, excited yeah yes. excited and wants to like <laughs> roam among his other pawn friends and uh, like yeah you are still pawns <laughs> yeah like his expression also looks uh, a little bit happy and excited and that's your name over there yeah beverly uh, and you write it in a different way yeah, the yeah e that is... should become my sign like a <laughs> signature thing actually fantastic so you are some kind of uh, artist or how do you call this sketcher yeah an artist basically okay. i like drawing so so tell show us some more of your work what else have you done maybe something that is not chess related but something else that you have done oh yeah sure so here i've always been intrigued by the taj mahal mm -hmm. and i've always wanted to draw it like it's been like a want for so long so here I drew it, finally. You drew the Taj Mahal yeah. and you also wrote something on top of it in Urdu or what is this? It was actually at the back of an eraser <laughs> that I had and it was Arabic. So, so best thought of incorporating. So you don't know what it's written It there. means I think uh, a pen, it erases for pen too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you wrote it over there. Yeah. Wow, fantastic. And this was done in school? Yeah. In, 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 in the middle of a lecture. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> when else do you draw that? <laughs> okay, nice. What else? And uh, this came out actually, you know about the Panama paper leak? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to draw something about it like I'd seen about a lot in the paper and plus I wanted, I googled about it and all that. And this is what I drew that was I think in 7th or 8th standard. Wow. So so can you explain what, what's going on here? So because I, a lot of things are happening. I can see a... What's that? A whale or a shark and there are these guys yeah. running inside. That's Amitabh Bachchan actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. okay so these are the uh, locks, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, the Panama locks. This is the Miraflores lock actually. Uh, the Panama Canal is quite famous because it um, kind of connects South America and North America, so makes the trade route easier and stuff. So in, uh, I think these guys, instead of storing their stuff in actual banks, decided to store it in these uh, uh, not <laughs> very white banks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like kind of black money. So uh, they're all going into the mean looking whale. Mm -hmm. which is called Mossack Fonseca because that was the firm at that time which held all this not b white money mm -hmm. and uh, this is the ship crossing um, the Panama Canal wow. so and I called it uh, Money Launder <laughs> Money Launder, wow this is so well done and did you get an idea about this from somewhere or this was completely original? This was kind of original, but uh, obviously it was incorporated based on the stuff I read about yes, it. Yes, for sure. That's yeah. fine. But, but I didn't know, copy. You, I didn't like of copying this, kind uh, of drawings and all others. This Mossack Fonseca has to be shown as a whale or something. This is all entirely your thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Amazing. So what else? And also this was uh, something for school actually, but... Mm -hmm. uh, for one school competition, which I finally won. Okay. Uh, so it's like you are talking about peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Share. Share peace, like you would share chocolates. Wow. Okay. So here there are. I wanted to include like humor in my drawings mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. So these two are sharing a heart, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Then this guy. Now this is like passing the parcel. Share peace. So you're passing the parcel with others. Other mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I've tried and uh, I've tried to show different nationalities over here. So that's the British guy. That's the Chinese. He looks a bit like Mao with say tongue. Mm -hmm. This is I think American. I was now he's passing a gun, but that guy doesn't want the gun because he you're sharing peace, not violent stuff and uh, this is the Indian, I don't know how else to show an Indian, <laughs> <laughs> that's Hitler, that's German and um, that's some Arab guy, looks like from uh, Iran mm -hmm. or Iraq, that uh, he looks Norwegian, so he's passing a bombshell okay. and he says no to the bombshell because that's what you're supposed to say when you're sharing peace. And this is that dove of peace, because all this is being shared, this is the dove of peace which is locked in a cage. Ah. So all these unnice, unwanted elements are being shared, so the dove is still locked in the cage. So when actual peace is shared, then he'll be freed. Fantastic. This is very well done and so much deep thought has gone behind it. I think uh, you, you have, no, you're not just an artist, but you also think a lot. And you are able to come up with creative, at the same time humorous yeah. concepts. And uh, how would you attribute this? What what developed this quality in you? Uh, my mom actually always used to come at breakfast time, read us like in shots those uh, short news or. Uh, like those uh, tell me why and tell me what books and those so I always like wanted to know more about these kind of so this kind of stuff then I always liked reading the papers and all that so uh, I always had lots of knowledge and as to always win GK competitions Wow, fantastic <laughs> and we would like you to explain to <laughs> our viewers your latest creation because this one looks fantastic oh, and also it's about chess so yeah this is my gift to you guys uh -huh. um, that is supposed to be Amruta, ma'am, and that is supposed to be you, sir. Okay, um, so this is Amruta over here uh, with her camera in hand, and that's me with my uh, not suit. so mm. properly worn <laughs> spectacles. <laughs> and, and I like the title at the top. Yeah, it was a pun. I like puns too. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Alekine, but actually what you want all to miss, I can, all, all I, I can, can think, think of is chess based India. Fantastic. This is excellently made. I think it's one of the prettiest gifts we have received. Oh, um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> so Beverly, you, you are you are uh, also a chess player and uh, you played over here. Yes. How, how was your tournament? 
Yeah, it was actually the best tournament I've ever been to actually. I actually won something too. I did win in the C category and in the B category I did win a cool looking king. It was a golden one with... It was a nice trophy, one of the best ones I've ever got. Uh, and so. you are not the only chess player in your family, are you? No, no, I have a lot more famous <laughs> brother. He's uh, two, <laughs> two, three or two, two rated. Yes. Uh, You're talking his name about is Leon, Leon Mendanza. Right, so he's very popular in chess, uh, 12 year old yes. Leon. I'm always known as Leon's sister. <laughs> but no one saw your pair, mm. the drawings until now and I mm -hmm. think uh, because of these you are going to be very very popular. Mm. So any plans of doing anything chess related? drawings or paintings or something yeah i will i want to join chess base india actually <laughs> so uh, now it's kind of completed almost completed so i would love to draw for chess base india fantastic so we'll keep our viewers uh, right now posted and about anything that you do but yeah. thanks a lot for sharing these wonderful uh, pictures that you have drawn and um, we would like to say that you have a very unique talent uh, oh, which you. is which is not uh, seen anywhere else in the chess world i i think there is a spanish cartoonist uh, who is very famous in chess uh, i have to check up the name but he draws all these pictures of top players oh, lovely, and caricatures nice. so but maybe we have an Indian version oh, now. Cool. So thanks a lot, Beverly, and uh, welcome. Thank wonderful you so much. meeting you.